everyone, it's Rita here, and today I have a flip through of the Denim and Lace uh, journal. It's a, a double journal, I guess. I was thinking it was triple, but it's really only two signatures, so there's one here and one back here. So I'll show you how it goes. Um, most of you have seen most of this, but there's a few things in here I did not um, do uh, on camera. And this tie is just for purposes to close it if you want. Otherwise, you don't need to because it stays closed all by itself. Okay, so um, let's just flip through it. This is uh, I made with um, the paper you get in packaging. The background is made with the packaging paper and some scrapbook paper and... Uh, cardstock and some digitals and the digitals mostly are from um, oh I should have wrote that down let me see if I have it real quick I have it in my the digitals are in my um, description but I was gonna just mention it really quick but sure enough it's not close at hand <laughs> so oh darn it oh it's um, Printscape Journeys is one of the uh, the denim and lace one. And then the other one is uh, Crafty Cat. And then there's one by Vintage by Me, which I don't know which one it is, but they're all listed below. Okay, so um, here I put one of uh, Crafty Cat's uh, pockets on there from one of her kits and a couple of these uh, feed sack uh, tags. And then um, here we have lace, and this was a collage I made a long time ago, and I just stuck that on there. This looks like um, lace back here, or like uh, netting, but it's not. It's just part of the print, but it's really pretty. Uh, here is a little tag that flips out. We made these um, together. I th I'm thinking it was a Roxy's uh, challenge. And then these two tags came from Lisa, my friend, in a Happy Mail, so I was able to use these because they went perfectly with um, this journal. And then this is a piece of lace. It's not vintage. I think I got this from Timu. Now that I think about it, where did I get it? Because I couldn't remember. And I sewed that on by hand. This is just another piece of lace. This is a vintage button that Lisa sent me. And... These some journaling spots here. This is a flip up, and we just I put um, uh, coffee dyed paper on both sides and used washi tape to hold it together, and then just made it a flip. And then uh, this is also a belly band. I didn't make a journal card to fit in there. Unfortunately, I I should have. But let me see if I can pull out something to put in there. But that's what the intentions were, to make a a uh, belly band for, with it, something like that. Okay, and then here's another pocket here with the Tim Holtz uh, design on it. And journaling here. Here's another belly band from Book Pages and this was from a collage that I had left over. And then this is um, collaged paper. And we use fabric in this. This is the center of the first signature. Which I tied this bow in there. And you can take that bow out. I think you can just untie it. But um, yeah, I thought it was pretty. And it, you can ride around in this area if you'd like. It's a little tuck here, and I put a postcard in that that I uh, backed with uh, cardstock and inked and sewed around. And then there's one on this side too. Same thing. And then this is our ruffles made out of um, um, pattern paper. They're kind of like flat now, but it's okay. I, I still like the texture of them. More journaling space here. You could put a... Um, some piece of paper that you might have or photograph or something like that on that page. Another um, page for uh, journaling on. 
here we have another um, kind of envelope pocket with a tag on that. It, um, this These have like a background tag area too. You can put something smaller in the because they're not totally glued down. And then um, journaling space here, little journal spot there. Plenty of journaling and still plenty of places to put uh, pieces that you might have. Here I put a little uh, coffee dyed paper, stamped it, and you can journal on that. This is a little uh, pocket with some little tickets in there. And little pieces of ephemera up here. I'm not sure how I made this. I think it was a collage page and I don't even know what I did. <laughs> but there's a pocket down here and a pocket up here. That's weird. Um, <laughs> it's not that weird. It's just I don't even know what I did. Okay, so that's the end of that page. Then we come over here and open the next uh, signature. And here I had a piece of paper stuck and um, it ripped off so it was white. So I just put one of these little clusters there to hide that mistake. A little um, journaling card here in this little window envelope. That was covered with napkin. Here's a little uh, side pocket with the little journaling card and this little notebook. Small little notebook. I won't use one of the page, page hanging out so you can see that. Simple idea. Here's another tuck with a journaling card in there. And a cl uh, cluster tuck. Here's a, a double pocket that we made um, out of index cards, and I just put paper in those. Um, these are from um, Pink Monarch Prints, her um, invoices, and then I've got one in this one too. I just stuck those in there for journaling space. These were fun to make. And then this was um, this page was one of those pages that I uh, put together and then took them up, you know, cut them to make a page, um, and that's how it turned out with just part of this page on there. Anyway, I think it's very cute. And then this was a, a cute one that uh, we made with the envelopes, and I have a couple of cards in there from Tim Holtz. And it just folds up like that and comes down and it'll stay closed it's just I thought it would be better to have a paper clip at the top ultra paper clip and you could stick something behind there this is one that I made um, the other day when I was doing um, not wax uh, what do you call it uh, tea bags and just a grunge just a grungy look and here's a little pocket with another pocket, but there's nothing in it, just for journaling. But I thought it was a cute idea. More journaling spot. Here's another little glassine envelope, and I just put another piece of paper in there to journal on. And then here's the center of the second signature, which is a butterfly that I was given to me by Jody in her package, her Happy Mail. And so I thought it looked perfect on here. And this is a napkin behind that. And there's the other side of the glassine bag. And then here is just a little pad with some uh, miscellaneous type papers you can use for uh, your journal or whatever you want. You can write on them too. This is a button that I kind of um, embellished with ink and paint and stuff like that that's just a little embellishment there I don't think yeah there's not a pocket there um, journaling here In the back of a paper clip you could stick something on that this is a notebook that I made um, 
has just um, like notebook pages in it, like so. And it's just kind of hinged here. And I thought it was um, turned out cute. So I just clipped that in there. And here's some of the denim that I made from the front dress and just a little collage there, a little cluster. Here's another one of those tags that we made with fabric. I think that was a Roxy uh, thing too. I'm not sure though, I can't remember. I haven't done Roxy's for a while, so. These other pages that we spliced together. This is a, a belly band that I made from a, a junk mail envelope and I just cut the bottom off of the envelope, I think it was, and you know how it has like the circular then because it was sealed and I just made a belly band with it and put this little card and then I have a little journal card inside here with this little envelope in that and here's just um, some lace and button and these are little um, journal cards in there, tags, and these are little, whoops, journal cards. And this was made with a vellum envelope that I had, and I put a bunch of little pieces in there. Um, pocket, and these were paint chips, I believe, yeah, paint chips. And so I guess that's the end. Seem shorter on that side, but they're the same. The total, um, there's two signatures and there are um, 89 pages front and back and it's eight and a half by five and a half and it's one and three quarter inch spine and um, I didn't leave it very long so I decided not to make a bow but just whoops kind of tie it like that like a loop it's not tying now that I did that. <laughs> but anyway, so that's what I have. And I will list this on my uh, big cartel. And um, yeah, I hope it goes to a, a fun home that enjoys um, grunge and lace and denim and all those good things. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.